This is a picture is, uh, first of all, it makes me realize that time passes and it's quite harsh uh, to watch it, but it's as well uh, a young unknown manager who comes to Highbury and is asked to lift his hands and say, uh, here I am, you know, and uh, of all, uh, it's my first contact uh, with Highbury and with the club uh, in London. And uh, it's quite emotional to look at it because uh, I'm in front of an unknown history. And uh, when I look back now, you know, so much happened in this, uh, since this photo was made and uh, what, uh, uh, who we are today. What do you see in your expression in this picture? Is this, is this the step into the unknown, if you like? I see uh, hope and I see uh, happiness to be there. And uh, certainly deeply inside there, a desire to prove that I have the quality to step into the job and uh, surprise everybody by uh, what I can achieve. I thought uh, straight away there was a special soul inside uh, Highbury, you know, that uh, you could catch. And I felt that uh, a warmth inside the club. And uh, there was a, a mixture of warmth, humility, and uh, nice attitude, you know, that was quite positive. I expected much more reluctance and uh, much more skepticism. But I must say, uh, I was surprised by the, the quality straight away. And uh, Highbury is, of course, special to me, like it is uh, to so many people who are around my age. And uh, uh, it's difficult to describe what Highbury was, but uh, there was, was the vibrance of all the games that have been played before uh, was in there. Many times I pass in front of Highbury. I change my, uh, my way sometimes to just pass in front of it because when you go down Avenue Road there, uh, many times I had that special uh, feeling, you know, when uh, we came by coach, the crowd was waiting for you and uh, it started there, all there. Because until the, you turn on the right, when you come down, nothing is there. And suddenly you go, you discover there's a football stadium there people waiting for the players and uh, uh, with a special day. And uh, it was a magic, kind of magic, that you, no architect can recreate, but it was just there. And I, I believe as well that uh, you don't see the stadium from far and you realize it's in the middle of, of the houses and uh, that's how football should be. You know, you go out of your home, next door is a football stadium, it's part of your life. This is uh, with the legend of the club uh, and uh, in this picture you have all, I, I believe. You have uh, uh, the fact that we won the double, the size of a club is what is behind the, fold, the trophies and the two men who sit there is uh, the immense crowd, you know, uh, that is behind there. Islington, uh, go through Islington with trophies is a special feeling. And that's the day where even the players realize the size of a club and what it means to people. Uh, I had the privilege to do that a few times and uh, it's always a special experience. 98, uh, I think for me was a special day because uh, I uh, could invite my parents, you know, for, uh, for the celebration. I could, uh, invite many people who were close, very close to me uh, from Strasbourg. And uh, many of them have uh, unfortunately disappeared now. So when I think about 98, I think uh, that's the day uh, we all clicked. It was what's the day where I, I won my first trophies with the club. And uh, the only day where I could still have people around me who uh, were very important in my life and uh, we had a great night together after that and uh, went very late to bed, certainly. But it was different the next day, yes, for, for this. <laughs> but it is as well, uh, 
I look uh, at it a little bit with nostalgia because a lot of many people who, who were with me on the day have uh, have disappeared. Uh, my parents, first of all, you know, and uh, and uh, some friends from Strasbourg who have died since who were there, and uh, uh, people of my childhood. First FA Cup against Newcastle at Wembley. This is a, remains a little bit of a scar in my uh, uh, celebration. Of course, it was fantastic because I thought now you can have a double, don't miss it, you know. And uh, usually, the team is difficult to stop once they have won the championship to win the FA Cup. But uh, uh, I have as well regrets on the day because I didn't bring in right on and they never forgave me. It was difficult for him. Uh, you cannot uh, make up, no matter what you say to a player, for a big disappointment like that. And uh, especially a guy who is passionate like that. But, uh, uh, you know, it's, that's the difficulty of our job. You have to make decisions. And uh, uh, you sometimes decisions uh, have uh, go, again, uh, go against what you uh, would love to do but uh, you have to make uh, what you think is right. If you like that, check this out.